In today's Moral Dilemma, we take a look at hazing. Now, nearly half of all high school students who belong to a group are reportedly asked to do acts considered humiliating or illegal, and 90% of those acts are never reported. It's no wonder that teens have trouble determining what hazing really is. Yo, made it. All my clones. It's good, that's good. Hey, cutie. How you doing? Hi. You got Hi. my shoes? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Good, good, good. You got my math homework, right? Yes. Hey, hey. It's good. I'll get it later. How you doing? Now, you guys been through all the stuff, but, um, I have this thing I like to do, you know? It's nothing hard. I need you all just to, just take a cup. There you go. Take it. There you go. One for me. I just want to have a little toast. Huh? I don't think this is such a good idea. What? The whole thing. Drink. 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 It's really common for you, especially when you're in a new situation, to want to fit into a particular group and feel a sense of belonging, a sense of a sense of camaraderie, like you have a place in the world attached to another group. You have to keep in mind what things you feel comfortable doing with yourself, with your body, to other people. A lot of times there's a lot of peer pressure to join a group. There's expectations of things that you have to do that you might not normally feel comfortable doing. If you're trying to join a group and change who you are to fit in, then perhaps that's just not the right group for you. To compromise yourself for a group of people that you want to feel a part of might actually end up making you feel worse about yourself. You want to be in the inner circle or not, huh? Right? Yes? Well, yeah, but I mean, does this really matter? 